Welcome back, fellow AP nerds. Me and the lymphatic person here. Oh yes, the oh so dramatic lymphatic person. I can only guess that this pose is meant to show us those axillary lymph nodes. Speaking of, make sure that you watch the video explaining the lymphatic person before you watch this one, which is an in-depth look at new anatomical models of lymph nodes, individual nodes. I've got a couple decent models of those. Let's take a look at them. Okay, here's a close-up look of the first model I have showing us a lymph node. And I can point out a few of the structures that you would be very often expected to know. So follow along with me. And I can see a bunch of lymphatic vessels here. So those would be lymphatic vessels. But I can tell which ones are going in versus which ones are going out the afferent versus efferent by looking at the direction of the valves. Pardon my videography here, but you can see this particular lymphatic vessel right here is an afferent lymphatic vessel, meaning carrying lymph into the node. How can I tell? Well, look at this valve right here. The lymph's going to go through it this way, but it can't go backwards that way. So I see that the valves is pointing the direction that the lymph would move. So all of these lymphatics that have the valve pointing this way are afferent lymphatic vessels. Look at that one. Afferent lymphatic vessel going in. Afferent lymphatic vessel. Afferent lymphatic vessel. But this one down here, notice coming right out of the hilum of the organ, this would be an efferent lymphatic vessel that you would be able to see right here because look at the way the valve is pointing. So if I zoom back out, afferent, 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 carrying lymph in to the node. Efferent, right here, look at the direction the valve is pointing, carrying the lymph out of the node, right there. Always keep in mind that you're gonna have more ways into the node then you have out of the node. That's very typical for any lymph node. The external layer of the organ is called the fibrous capsule of the lymph node. That's the fibrous capsule. And on this particular node, I can see trabeculae coming into the node, here, here, here. The trabeculae coming into the node, these irregular sort of incomplete walls that we have. So these things are all trabeculae of this particular lymph node. And out here in this region, just like in the histology section of the big video that you've probably already seen, this region called the cortex is where I see germinal centers. These circular structures here are all called germinal centers of the lymph nodes. And those things live in the cortex. So this organ is a lymph node with afferent lymphatic vessels one efferent lymphatic vessel, a fibrous capsule, trabeculae, germinal centers which live in the cortex of the node. 
This middle section of the node is actually the medulla. This lymph node has a medulla, medullary cords, things like that. Probably not required for you on a lymphatic model such as this one. Okay, everybody, let's take a look at this rather ginormous lymph node model that we see right here. And I can notice some of the exact same structures I saw on the other version. So I see all these lymphatic vessels here. Notice the easily distinguishable valves pointing in for all these afferent vessels and only one efferent vessel coming straight out of the hilum of this little node right here. Efferent lymphatic, afferent lymphatics. I can also see the fibrous capsule, nicely colored here, continuous with the trabeculae that I see. Germinal centers, and where do the germinal centers live? In the cortex of the organ. I would make the argument that this particular lymphatic model is a little weak on the medulla. They made the thing pretty much all cortex but I definitely can see very easy to distinguish valves, trabeculae, fibrous capsule, germinal center, afferent lymphatic vessels, and one efferent lymphatic vessel. Now, you people know this better than most anyone if you've watched some of these videos that I've made for you. Once I've gone through some of the structures, typical, common that people have to know, then let's do a little bit of quizzing, shall we? Thank you.